mistakes can and do happen, but the conduct of cervical check and the HSE in my case is unforgivable. To know for almost three years that a mistake had been made and that I was misdiagnosed is bad enough, but to keep that information from me until I became terminally ill and to drag me through the courts to fight for my right to the truth is an appalling bre breach of trust. They will offer you a settlement but it is conditional on you signing a, a, a non-disclosure agreement. And straight away I said, absolutely not. I knew at that point there were other women that were in the same boat as me who were clueless, out there at home, not knowing this was going on. I have a daughter who's coming uh, on board. She's nearly 13. And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want her to have to go through what I'm going through. I'm doing this for her and for the women of Ireland. We are sorry for the failures of clinical governance. Sorry for the failures of leadership and management. Sorry for the failure to tell the whole truth and to do so in a timely manner. Sorry for the humiliation, the disrespect and deceit. I don't want your apologies. I don't want your tributes. I don't want your aide de camp at my funeral. I don't want your accolades or your broken promises. I want action. I want change. I want accountability. Honestly, the support has been amazing and I wouldn't be here really today without it, you know, so thank you to everybody at home. There will be others who will continue this fight without me when I'm gone because we are all in this together at the end of the day. We all come from that same place, from a mother's womb. This is everybody's story.